Hey everybody, I'm the Will of DC. On today's YouTube news, I talk about the new browse page called Topics, currently in beta testing. There's a lot to talk about, so let's get right into it. So the main thing I want to talk about today is the new browse page, and I'm going to put up all the screen caps while I'm talking about it. You know, we're going to do a little review, an opinion tutorial on the new browse page, but I want everyone to be able to check it out and follow along with me. So I want you to go to TestTube, which is where YouTube puts all their new products that are in beta testing, where they're asking for feedback, because a lot of times things launch on YouTube and people are like, I want to give feedback, and it's too late. This is where you should be going every week to check out new products and give feedback there before it becomes permanent. And the easiest, simplest way to get to it is to just go to your YouTube homepage, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and it says try something new click on that and it takes you to the test tube area and the second list on the test tube is the new topics which is the new browse page it's called topics so click on that and BAM you know now you've got the new topics page and the first thing you're looking at is how different it looks it looks so different and instead of having most of your videos which is really the most important part of YouTube I mean there's so many different things that YouTube does and there's so many important things and niche communities that really make YouTube what it is but at the end of the day the most viewed videos are what's driving traffic to the site is what's driving inspiration is what's getting more videos made that is what's most important in my opinion is is the, is the top videos and they should really get priority because they're the people working the hardest and getting their videos out there for people to see and now they're like an afterthought which is crazy to me so as you can see the top topic that's how the new topics page is gonna be it's gonna be this massively huge thumbnail of a top topic but it's not of a top youtuber it's not of an up-and-coming youtuber it's not of a viral video it's not of a trend it's not of a community it's mountain biking and I've never seen another one that's hot air balloon it's just these editorial probably chosen it might be an algorithm I don't know how it's chosen but somehow chosen topic that makes no sense there's not millions of views on a hot air balloon or a mountain biking video they're not people making tons of videos about it it's nothing that's really influential on YouTube or the online video marketplace so it's really making no sense it's like did someone pay off to get put in that spot or something it really is it, it's detrimental to YouTube as you know a media site as a search engine it is just horrible and awful and change it right now YouTube um, I, I hate to be so so harsh there but yuck gross no change it so anyways after you see the big thumbnail of the worthless topic you go down below and you see recommended topics and I see Usher Justin Bieber Lady Gaga love their music have downloaded it legally paid you know the dollar 29 cents for it listen to it on the radio it's not that I hate them but if I'm going to a browse page I don't need to see them. They are very much a part of my life. If I wanted to see them, I could just go to, you know, Usher Vivo or Lady Gaga Vivo or go to my iPod or turn on the radio. I don't really need to see them in such a prominent spot on the browse page. If you want to have recommended things, it should be trends, viral videos, top YouTubers, up and coming YouTubers, the niche communities that have power like makeup and video game and parodies and things like that. So to me, I'm just like, no, I don't want to see that there. That is pointless there bad, ugly, yuck, get rid of it. And so then below recommended topics are popular topics. And the one that I really like is I see the Lego stop motion. I am loving these videos. I think they're so creative and they have to take so much time. So I really, really love that they're highlighting them because the people that do them really put so much time into them and really should get way more views than they are getting right now. Because if someone working hard on something, you should be rewarded for it, especially if it looks as good as these Lego videos do. But the other two next to it are Smurfs and Yosemite National Park. I've been to Yosemite National Park, it's a wonderful place, but nobody's making videos about it. I mean, <laughs> you know, double rainbow aside, no one's making videos about it. No one's, you know, going there. It's not inspiring anything. And Smurfs, Smurfs really, oh, that god awful movie, like the TV show when I was a kid was cool, but no, this is pointless. Why? No one's searching for it. No, they're not getting millions of views. It is not a topic. It is a very much afterthought to everything else on YouTube. It's like the Z list of topics. There should be A list topics on this browse page. It, browse page should be a powerful place where people go to see awesome content and content that they haven't found yet. And Smurfs and Yosemite National Park should just not be included. And there's other topics there that just make no sense. And I really, really am disappointed with how this new browse page is. I love the idea of topics. I love the idea of giving people a chance to explore their things. But the way it is now is just terrible. And as you can see, the categories are hidden. Like, I've, I'm very scared of them getting rid of subscribers, but YouTube, when I was there, say they are not getting rid of subscribers. I'm very scared of them getting rid of categories. It seems like they're hiding them. You have to click the topics page to get a drop down of the categories, and I just think that that's a click too many. That's a click too many. Like, the first thing you do when you upload a video is, you know, you have to choose what category it's going into, so that's, that's an important part of the video making process. It shouldn't be an afterthought, an additional click on the topics page. And then you're asking, of course, 
where are most viewed videos. They're now third priority on this new browse page. I think number one priority is the big thumbnail, and then right under that are all the topics, and then on the right hand side, in you know, just a row, a row form, single row, is the most viewed videos, and I just think that that's just a slap in the face to the content creators that are really driving traffic to the site to have them as such an afterthought is just a column on the right hand side below this massive thumbnail above worthless you know topics so YouTube you've got a lot of work it looks very cool in the structured format where it's like rows and columns and everything you know very graphically it's nice but content wise it's just got awful it's just got awful and then Michael Buckley pointed something out to me that's very interesting. You can search for topics. So go to the search little button and you search Michael Buckley and then up pops the topic Michael Buckley, which is awesome. You're like, cool, I'm gonna get to see, you know, Michael Buckley videos. You click on it and it's got a really awesome uh, bio and it says how many videos have been made about Michael Buckley with how many views and the bio is obviously written by someone at YouTube so they're gonna be very nice and very wonderful bios. But the videos, as you can see, are not Michael Buckley videos. They're not videos made by Michael Buckley. They're videos about Michael Buckley. Buckley and it's a double-edged sword where it's like awesome new content creators videos that aren't gonna get a lot of views that are now gonna be exposed in a really awesome way because it's not just the top ones it's got recent videos you know feed about Michael Buckley at the very bottom so it's gonna be a lot of rotating content through but if YouTube is a search company if they are branding themselves as a search company if they're owned by Google the largest search company that the world will ever see Google is never going away it's not like MySpace Google is here to control our lives you are a failure as a search company if I'm searching for Michael Buckley and I can't find a Michael Buckley video. I love that I'm gonna to get to see other YouTubers, but you've gotta balance it out. I've gotta see in the top row what the Bucks show. Chrome 75, Bucks iPhone. If I'm searching for Buck, that has to be top priority. And then other YouTubers talking about Buck or you know, video collabs featuring Buck or videos that you know have been inspired by Buck, that stuff is important and needs to be there. But as a search company, as a media company, I need to see who I'm searching for first and I don't see him at all, and that's just terrible and awful, and the algorithm, the engineers need to change that today. And then search for William Johnson, number one most subscribed on YouTube, search for him as a topic, he's not there. And not only is he not there, it says, no results found, try cat. Try cat, really? Are we back in 2007? We are not a video, a site about cats anymore. I love cat videos, I still watch cat videos on YouTube, but that is not what YouTube is. YouTube is so much more than that, and you are slapping a lot of people in the face, YouTube, when you're searching for the number one most subscribed on YouTube, that really changed the game in a lot of ways, that has propelled YouTube into a much more legitimate area to say, oh, we don't have anything on him, we don't have a way of finding things on Ray William Johnson, but here's cats. Like, I just have severe issue with that. Like, you could replace Raylan Johnson with Freddie W or anyone else that you want, and if it comes up no search results, the search for cat, you should be offended. Like, we, we're better than that. We're better than that. We put out much better content than that. We are a much better community than that, and, um, and I'm a little offended. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little offended. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the new browse page. That's the new topics page. Please go to the test tube, like just click try something new at the very bottom of your YouTube page to try it out. Give feedback, give feedback now before it becomes permanent because I think it becomes permanent January 1st of next year. So you've only got like a couple months left to really give the opinion on it. If you like it, please leave a comment below. I'm always open to having my mind change, but you're gonna have to make a real strong argument because uh, I think I prevented a strong argument here today of why it sucks. So I love you, YouTube. You are everything to me, and I love getting to love you, but um, you, you botched this one. This is terrible, 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 and it needs to be changed. And uh, everybody out there, video responses, comments, let me know what you think about it. Go check it out. Leave feedback to YouTube. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get this thing fixed. And that's all I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching YouTube News. As always, remember about your comments down below. Rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Have a great week before Halloween, and I will see you on Friday for YouTube Winners and Losers. Bye, everybody.